What is going on everybody? For those who don't know, I go by BLSG, and this is another Eagles offseason video. If you guys are new to this channel, I love talking Philly sports now every single day. Go down below and hit the subscribe button, smash the like button, and make sure to turn the notification bell so you guys are instantly notified whenever I upload a new video. Now earlier this morning on Good Morning Football, there was a question asked around Eagles quarterback Jalen Hurts and saying, how must Jalen Hurts become the Eagles' future starting quarterback? As we look ahead into Jalen Hurts' career and what he has been able to do, and he's honestly been really successful for the Philadelphia Eagles after coming off a 4-11-1 2020 season, taking over for Carson Wentz in the 2020-2021 season, and then leading the Eagles to a 9-8 regular season record before losing in the playoffs to Tampa Bay. How does Jalen Hurts become the Philadelphia Eagles starting quarterback after getting some experience in the NFL and knowing now what it's like to be a starting quarterback? So without further delay, let's get right into it. So, in my eyes, there are about three to four things that Jalen Hurts must do to be the Philadelphia Eagles future starting quarterback. And we're gonna get into those right now. So. Number one, four, Jalen Hurts to be the Eagles starting quarterback for the future. It's pretty obvious at this point, and the number one thing that you must do is make the playoffs. Yes, Jalen Hurts, like last year, he made the playoffs with the roster that he had in what should have been not that great of a year for the Philadelphia Eagles with under a new head coach, Nick Sirianni, under a new defensive coordinator in Jonathan Gannon, it should have never been a year like that, but Jalen Hurts was able to lead the Eagles to a 9-8 regular season record before losing in the playoffs to the Tampa Bay Buccaneers. And obviously you have to get back to the playoffs in order to have any chance of being the Philadelphia Eagles starting quarterback in the future years to come. And that starts by making the playoffs. And in order to make the playoffs and be playoff ready, you got to beat some of these playoff teams because... Last year, the Philadelphia Eagles either beat teams that were so bad or teams that were really banged up. That was the only reason that they got to the playoffs was because they either beat teams that were banged up or teams that were just really bad. So at the end of the day, the Philadelphia Eagles, in terms of their record of having to make the playoffs, they have to beat some of these playoff teams by any means. And it is actually fully guaranteed up to this point that Jalen Hurts and the Philadelphia Eagles must do that this year. Number two, you have to to win the NFC East. Yes, the Philadelphia Eagles. I know this is an easy schedule. This is an easy schedule. This is the best opportunity for the Philadelphia Eagles to go out there and find a way to put it all together and get to the playoffs this year and win the NFC East as well. This is your best chance. I know you're going to have the Cowboys coming up on your tail. I know you have the Giants in Washington to deal with. I know you have all those teams to deal with, but I'm confident that we can take care of both the Giants and the Commanders, and in my eyes, I feel like we will split with the Dallas Cowboys this year. Cow the Cowboys will always give us problems every year. They always will. And they won't allow us to sweep them. The last time we sweeped them was a long time ago, so at the very least, the Philadelphia Eagles must sweep or split with the Dallas Cowboys and then sweep the Giants and the Commanders. So. In my eyes, you've got to beat some of these playoff teams that are on your schedule. You know you got to beat teams like Arizona, the Colts, the Packers, the Titans, even though they don't have A.J. Brown or any of their pieces anymore. You can and consider the Cardinals into the conversation. You have to beat some of these teams that are playoff caliber right now. And those are some of the teams right there that are playoff caliber that you have to go out there and beat. Do I feel like the Philadelphia Eagles can beat them? Absolutely I do. With the roster that they have right now, they absolutely can beat these teams. And they always will have potential. But there will be times that there are some ugly moments for the Philadelphia Eagles and it's not going to go their way. But at least you have to find a way to beat some of these playoff caliber teams before finding a way to get into the playoffs. And number three, when you make the playoffs, you have to at least win the first playoff game. Yes. And again, we saw this. We saw something similar last year. Jalen Hurts, however, not being able to get it done with the Philadelphia Eagles as they lost by multiple scores to the Tampa Bay Buccaneers last year in the NFC Wild Card when the Philadelphia Eagles were 9 and 8 as a final record at the time before losing to Tampa Bay in the Wild Card. But 
Jalen Hurts has the pieces to find a way to execute this year. He has A.J. Brown. He has Zach Pascal. He has a second-year Devontae Smith. He has the offensive line. He has another tight end. He has tight end Dallas Goddard. He has the pieces. He has the pieces to go out there and get it done. It'll all come down to execution from Jalen Hurts because he is leading this team to where they want to be, and that is back at the playoffs for the moment. And in my eyes, if you're going to be the Eagles' future starting quarterback, you've got to win at least the very first playoff game that you're in. I don't care if it's the divisional round or if it's even the wild card. It'll more likely be the wild card because I doubt we're going to get to number one seed, but as long as you make it in the playoffs, win the first wild Win the first playoff game, and you should be all right going into the final year of your contract. And the Eagles will then decide what they would want to do with you, and that is specifically going towards Jalen Hurts. Jalen Hurts does have the potential to do it, guys. There is no, there's no wrong reason for Jalen Hurts to not have the potential to find a way to do it this year. And this is also the best chance for Jalen Hurts to do it because not only does he have the pieces around him, he has all the potential. He has experience playing and knows what it feels like to be a starting quarterback in the league. The the NFC is also, you know, some players are departing from the NFC to the AFC. Some players are going from the NFC to the AFC, like I said. And you know, this might be the best chance for the Philadelphia Eagles to, you know, go out there and make some noise. Obviously, you know, you got to get by the Cowboys for your division. And like I said before, some of the teams you have to get past are like the Packers, the Colts, the Cardinals, and some of the other teams that are on your schedule that are potential playoff contenders. But in my eyes, I can see Jalen Hurts having the potential to go out there and be the Eagles starting quarterback for the future. But again, it comes down to Jalen Hurts and how well he will execute plays out there on the football field. I absolutely think Jalen Hurts can do it, but it all, will all come down to him to lead that offense down the field and will find a way to hopefully execute plays drive after drive, and we'll just have to see what goes on forward in the career of the 23 or 24-year-old Jalen Alexander Hurts. You guys, give me your thoughts down below in the comments section. What do you guys think that Jalen Hurts must do in order to be the Philadelphia Eagles starting quarterback. Do you see Jalen Hurts being the starting quarterback in the future for the Philadelphia Eagles? And how must Jalen Hurts get the job done? You guys leave your thoughts down below in the comments section. Appreciate you guys for tuning in. Be sure to like, comment, subscribe. And I'll catch you guys on the next one, man. Peace out. Fly goes fly.